once you study it and learn about the biomechanical advantages that it has, then it becomes an uh, easy decision to use aspen in the appropriate patients. It's easy to apply. It does the same thing as other techniques which are harder to perform and riskier to perform for the patient. And the outcomes have spoken for themselves, so we've continued to perfect our technique and think of even more innovative ways to use it. Our most common use is an adjunct diffusion. We're using it as a stabilizer for the posterior elements as opposed to pedicle screws, which have been the traditional way to perform a posterior fusion for many years. And we use it in conjunction with posterior inner body fixation, or the T-lift technique. The best patient for a minimally invasive technique is a one-level fusion at L3-4, L4-5, or L5-S1 with one-level degenerative disc disease. That person can come in uh, after suffering with back pain for years and have an inner, uh, inner body fusion along with uh, posterior fusion with an aspen device. Their pain is better immediately because the joint is stabilized and then as it progresses to fusion over the next several months, they get even better. And the success stories are numerous.